This is Jeff Goldblatt with Richmond Advantage, and today we're going to be speaking with Jake Ensminger, all the way out in Rapid City, South Dakota. You're the Director of Facility Programs at the YMCA out there. Jake, thanks so much for being with us today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Jeff. Appreciate you guys. So here we are in late April. The first thing I have to ask is when's the last time it snowed out there? Uh, honestly, two days ago. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Wow. <laughs> Well, well, stops. Well, Does it snow in May out there? We actually will get, uh, I think it was the year before COVID happened, we had a snowfall the last week of May. Uh, oh, so like, goodness. So June, what that probably June. means, we hope, is that people are inside and they're working out, right, at the YMCA. Yes, and because of COVID, what has the situation been like there for you in terms of people working out and membership? What's the experience sure. been like? Sure. Well, our, our state was one of the few that never shut anything down or never really restricted anything whatsoever. So we had to kind of figure out how to accommodate keeping our members safe, even though, you know, we, you know, we got to, we got to play the best interests of, you know, what, the, what our members, uh, maybe what their preferences are, but also uh, what, what's going to be safe. We can't necessarily have an outbreak trace back to the YMCA that would be you know a, 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 a death knell in the coffin right there so okay so do you mandate that or require that people wear masks when they come in in certain areas it was required in other areas um, we have uh, uh, guidelines as to social distancing um, you got to have at least a machine between you and the next person working out our steam room is shut down still just because that would basically be a petri dish um, but we've also instituted a lot more cleaning standards with our, uh, my, specifically my staff. Uh, we do, um, uh, you know, regular, regular sweeps through the building where we're spraying down lockers and uh, railings and stuff like that. And although most recently, a lot of uh, attention has been drawn that, you know, may, maybe that doesn't work as much as it's, it is theater. But in, in so much as we need to do that, we also have a lot of duties where we're touching towels and stuff that uh um sure we don't, we don't want to get sweating. that yeah we have people are sweating people are using the towels for unsavory purposes where we find like colors on there that we're like uh oh, yeah what are these guys animals back here um but uh you know having uh everybody else in in the country and everybody else in the world needing uh these products and needing um you know, the laws of supply and demand, you know, price is going to go up as uh, as demand goes up and then also availability is going to go down, too. Um, but that's where we were really fortunate to find uh, find Richmond Advantage. You guys uh, kind of helped uh, help through a, a large portion of our, uh, our glove use. Um, you know, so it was it, during that it was during the pandemic at the beginning. I know the answer to this, but people who are watching. That's yeah, how you sure. found Richmond Advantage. Like, what? Tell tell everyone out there about the story and why you came to Richmond Advantage. Sure, sure. Uh, so before the pandemic hit, gloves were probably about thirty five bucks a case or something like that. And um, you know, after it hit, our supplier we had a, a, a supplier that was uh, you know very good about getting us pretty competitive prices. Um, but almost immediately, they raised the price to over ten dollars uh, a case where we were you mean ten dollars more no oh, no like ten like at least yeah well ten dollars total so at least triple almost triple the price of what oh yeah sorry a hundred dollars hundred dollars a case sorry oh, okay. ten dollars a box uh three fifty a box uh to ten dollars a box so thirty five oh, okay. a case gotcha. to a hundred dollars a case and we were just like uh we can we can find these online for you know half that rate and shipping included for maybe three quarters of that or, you know, two thirds of that rate. Uh, but then we, when we stumbled upon uh, Richmond advantage, uh, we got an even a way better deal than that. Uh, and then actually I, uh, I remember receiving a voicemail from Paul Richmond. Um, uh, you know, I was, I was, I think it was the day I, I, I had off, but I come back and I listened to a voicemail and I was like, Oh, well, you know, sounds uh, like he was, you know, really appreciative of our business there and uh, wanted to reach out because um, they had, uh, you know, like a kind of an exclusive deal where um, just kind of some stuff that we had ordered, uh, they were, you know, eliminating some of that stock or just getting, you know, getting rid of more of that. So they were able to give us a, 
even better deal than than what we were expecting and so been very and appreciative you, about you know, it. as a customer in south dakota the head of our company give you a call uh amazing and the funny thing is, is that was during the time that you guys were having that uh that ice icy cold snap spell oh, yeah. like, I remember that. <laughs> a lot of stuff was uh you know we had some other um vendors where we we get uh, other things from uh in, in that location out of texas as well that a lot of things were delayed um but you know we uh i don't think we experienced much of a delay at all from uh, from you guys so and that's the way we like to do it right and so how are these gloves how are these gloves used at the ymca in rapid city a uh, var- variety of ways but mostly so in, in, in our location, I, I'd like to claim the bulk of it, but we don't even go through near what, uh, like a tenth of what uh, child care does. Uh, ours is, you know, like we said before, general cleaning and towels and uh, picking up, you know, you know, first aid, picking up gross stuff off the floors. And, um, but uh, child care, uh, we have a, a massive child care program where it's uh, actually one of, the, one of the best in Rapid City. I, I, I would say the best in Rapid City, but I, I'm partial. My, my kid goes over there. Um, but, uh, okay. you know, it's very, very clean facilities and uh, they do a great job. But whenever they're doing diaper changes and uh, food and stuff like that, they, of course, need to use a new pair of gloves for each child. Uh, and so in doing that, they go through, I actually have the estimate on my wall here, about 90 boxes per week. So that estimates <laughs> up to uh, about four, 40 cases a month or so. Wow. Um, All right. You're, yeah. you're a great customer. Keep it going. <laughs> Appreciate it. We like those kids in Rapid City. <laughs> I was say, we can fight. If we could find a way to uh, do the diaper changes without touching them, that'd be great. But, uh, but uh, until <laughs> That's then, yeah. not going to happen, happen, Jake. That's right. That's right. Um, and so, yeah, we go ahead. No, go ahead. I was gonna say anything from uh, from just basically picking up, uh, you know, random random band aids or stuff on the floor, or towels on the floor, cleaning up messes, to you know, uh, caring for our, our own our own infants. Uh, right. Infants. Career. What have you felt about the customer service, and um, any thoughts about expanding your relationship with the team? Uh, you know, as far as what uh, customer service I've, I've experienced has been great, you know, uh, to get a call from from Paul and uh, uh, dealing with Tyler as well. Um, you know, that was, like I said, that was in the thick of that, uh, that, that blizzard where you guys had, you know, pipes freezing and people, you know, have, having stuff explode. In their, their, oh, I, we had that in our house. So, yes, I know yeah, it well. Yes. Our homes it's are not built like they are in Rapid City, so. Right, right. Yeah, we get uh, we get that kind of stuff on the regular over here. Most of the year is spent uh, in the cold yeah. snap over here. Uh, you know, so uh, I think there was maybe one one day, or actually I remember um, the, the deal that Paul had uh, talked to me about uh, where he had, you know, offered a, a rate to just get rid of some of that uh, product they were getting off the shelves. I he, he gave me, you know, a time frame to get back to him till. And I, I, I remember being like clearing it with my supervisors and being like, yeah, go ahead. But then we had some stuff here happen. And I remember getting back to Tyler at like 9 p.m. The deadline, the day of the deadline, it was like, I'm so sorry about this. I know it's probably too late. And if, if so, you know, so be it. Um, but, you know, any consideration would be great. But then, you know, he just responded back that, hey, you know, we're, we're dealing with a cold snap here, so ain't no thing. We're we we got your back. We'll still honor that. We're honoring uh, it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. So I, you know, been uh, been we we I think we've been pretty fortunate. You know, YMCA's we we usually are as nonprofits, and you know, going for uh, 175 plus years. Uh, and this Y in, in particular has been around for 70 plus years. A lot of that. Uh, you know, I, there's a uh, it may be a general theme to the universe that uh, we, we've been very fortunate and very blessed. And, uh, you know, we thank you guys for, for being there for us, uh, especially when we needed it. Well, great, Jake. This has been a wonderful conversation. Appreciate your time and your candor. And it's good to have some laughs with you. And <laughs> you part of the country up there, Western South Dakota, Mount Rushmore. That's a great place. Black yes, Hill. sir. Come, c- come on down and visit us. We got, uh, got some, no, we're got coming some up there. Up we'll come up to visit. That's right. Right. <laughs> Spread the good word about Richmond Advantage. All right. Be t- take care yeah. up there and take care of all those children there going through the child care. You, you got it, Jeff. Appreciate you, man. Take care. So long.
See ya.